and welcome to this demonstration of ANSYS Fluent. In this video, I will show you how to model a flapping door with a simple harmonic motion using dynamic mesh in ANSYS Fluent. Door's dimensions as well as airflow velocity are presented here. I have assumed that the door oscillates as a rigid body around its left hand side, shown in this figure with a red point. The formula of angular velocity of the door is also shown here. The door deflects up to a maximum of 2 degrees and its frequency is 2 Hz. Our objective of this simulation is to study the airflow over this flapping door. This demonstration includes two parts. In this part, part 1, I show you physics setup and results. In part 2, we will see the UDF that I have used to define the simple harmonic motion of the door as well as dynamic mesh setup. I have already loaded the mesh file into Fluent and have specified a few settings including transient solver, SSDK Omega Turbulence model, and incompressible air. The next part of the setup is the boundary conditions. At inlet, I assign an airflow velocity of 10 meters per second. Next, I define the outlet of the domain as pressure outlet with zero relative pressure. The walls of the door are defined as walls with no slip boundary condition. I keep the default. For the far fields, I assign free slip wall conditions by assigning a zero shear stress at the walls. Free slip wall boundary condition allows us to artificially limit the extent of the domain. Then I need to create a dynamic mesh zone to define the harmonic motion of the door. I have already set this up in the current case, but in part 2 of this demonstration, I will show you the details of dynamic mesh setting. A good practice is to create some monitors for the quantity of interest of your simulation. Here I have created report plots for lift and drag coefficients. Note that I have changed the get data option to every iteration so that Fluent reports the values of lift coefficient at every iteration. The period of harmonic motion of the door is half a second and I have aimed to solve 100 time steps for each oscillation cycle. This gives me a time step size of 0.5 millisecond. The maximum iterations per time step I have assigned it to be 20 iterations. You may need to increase this if you see that your calculation is not converged for each time step. Now the case is ready to solve. I click on calculate and let Fluent to initialize the domain. I let the solver run for a few time steps and then stop the calculation to show you something about convergence. Something you may notice is that after a few time steps, the solver reaches to convergence criteria in only a few iterations. The convergence criteria by default is 1e-3 and I haven't changed this, but it seems that these criteria are not appropriate for our case and we may need to revise it. To investigate the convergence further, let's take a look at lift monitor plot. As you see here, the calculation moves from one time step to the next before the curve of lift coefficient flattens out. This tells us that we need more iterations for each time step. In this case, we saw that the solver moves from one time step to the next because it had reached the convergence criteria and not because the maximum iterations per time step was reached. So to resolve this issue, I will drop the convergence criteria of fluid flow equations to 1e-8. Now I run the case for a few more iterations and stop the calculation to check again the leaf coefficient convergence. As you see here, now the solution of leaf coefficient is converged for each time step. Now let's take a look at some results. Here is an animation of mesh motion. This shows you how the mesh motion is diffused in the domain. And 
This is an animation of velocity contour. You can see here the velocity of airflow on upper side and lower side of the door as the door moves with a harmonic motion. This concludes the first part of demonstration of flapping door in ANSYS Fluent. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in part 2.